Comet has been released. Perplexity have now released their own AI browser and as an elite AI influencer, not made of AI, but who looks at AI stuff, I have now been invited to finally try it. Now, we're going to check it out. I'm going to show you roughly what it is and then we'll go on and we'll actually use it live to show you if it's any good. So, the TLDR of it is essentially now perplexed are trying to reimagine how you interact with uh, the internet. So, browsing browsing the web using a browser is how you normally interact with the, with the internet. And to do that, you normally use a search engine, right? Like Google. Now, Perplexity is known for, you ask it a question and it gives you a bunch of stuff back, like links and stuff, but also a bit nat a natural language response, whereas Google's just links. So now they're trying to essentially kill Chrome, although they did just bid to try and buy it for billions of dollars, like way too many billions of dollars. But, But anyway, essentially what they're trying to do here now is they're trying to integrate everything, all these different like servers and things that AIs can do into a browser. So essentially like a big AI agent browser. So it's a browser that thinks with you. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. But use comment to eat so you can give me recipes, blah, blah, blah. I'll go and do it. So it's just like normal stuff. But you can use it to browse the web. So... For example, here you're just browsing like normal, but you can now have AI like side card on next to it. So you can see like, yeah, summarize all the answers in this AME. That's pretty cool. Because often I'll see that with pictures. You'll get like a picture of something and you'll say, you know, what is this about? Or why is this this? And I have to go and switch to ChatGPT. So that's a pretty cool feature. Email. So this is all integrated into the browser. That's how it's kind of like an AI agent as like in the way that you would think of one. Because you can connect up to your emails and essentially now you just have this interface where if you think about how ChatGPT has like connectors to different things, now instead of having connectors, imagine that Perplexity through Comet is now the interface to all of your stuff, which is like the future of what I suspect AI operating systems will be like, which is super cool. Search, Perplexity is known for being like the best search. Um, as you can see here, it's going to essentially be search kind of just like perplexity. Um, I just get it searching through all this stuff, browser use, etc. You can open the pages. You can even talk to it, which is pretty cool. So browsing with your voice, so proper vibe browsing. I'll coin that term right here. Um, you can shop with it as well. So, for example, here instead of opening all of this stuff like you'd normally do, you can just say, "Look, boom." Which of these bikes will ship to me the fastest? Instead of having to go through, go through the checkout bit, see how long it's going to take. Which is, honestly, it's going to save so much time. Travel, I'm interested in that. Watch. So, what's it going to do for watching? Is it going to watch it for me? Yes. Sunrise current web page. I had an idea for that as a Chrome extension before. I just never got around to it. But basically, summarise the video, which is good. Because I always do that. You go on a video, you're like, what's it even about? Like this one. What does it even talk about? Um, and then this one here, automating clicks for travel. That's interesting. So, oh, oh, I like this one. Because when I'm doing like running, you're like, I want to run 10k. Well, make a 10k look for me. And ChatGPT's rubbish at it. So I'm going to try that one out. Very cool indeed. So, if you come onto this, uh, perplexity.ai forward slash comet, right, you will then be able to come onto this page, have a look through all of this stuff and actually download Comet. So once you've downloaded it, you can then import, I can click out of this, you can now import all of your settings from your actual browser. So like this here is all my normal browser stuff, which is cool. So let's ask a question and see how it goes. So I think the map one could be a cool one. So I'll say, I need to run 10, 10K tonight. I want a look. Starting at Primark and Carlisle and ending there too. Let me see how it will work for this because this is crazy if it's legit. So it's looking through all the Primark stuff. Wait, how can it be done already? I haven't even opened my can yet. Great choice. Here's a 10k loop. Click clockwise, blah, blah, blah. If you want to create a GPX for the exact loop. What the heck? How is it done already? 
Yeah, let me see it. That's absolutely nuts. And this is free. I haven't even paid for this. Quickly to visualize next session running around mapping platforms. It's literally thinking for me. Because I was going to then ask it, how would I do it? This is unbelievable. This is the first time, if this works, this is the first time. Ah. Where are you, Strava? Tell me, Strava. All right, cool. Yeah, let's do that, you, Strava. This is the first time I've been actually, who oh, this is cool, impressed from AI and ages. This is nuts. So basically here I'm trying to make it create this loop for me inside Strava. Here's me on Strava if you want to follow me. By the way. So let's see here. Perfect, now logged in. Navigate to the map section. It's clicking around. You can see it here. What the heck? This is amazing. just going to go around and I'm sure whilst it's doing this I can just go and open another one too so whilst it's doing that I can just be like what was my latest email oh wait no will I get my Amazon parcel today because they just cancelled my order so I wonder if it'll check my there we go it wants me to check so let me connect that up It knows to check my emails. This is absolutely bonkers. I can't believe how sick this is. Let me go back to this one. He's still creating that. That's cool. Now here, we'll just show it can do everything. Uh, see what he says now. Oh, hey, it's actually wrong here. No, I'll do this one then. Because it's pretty cool. It gives you these, like, suggested next ones, like in perplexity. Um, so, here's the latest order. Out for the arriving today. Blah, blah, blah. Um, I thought they cancelled. Don't see any cancellation emails. Um, let me go and see. So if you click here, it's going to open up to my Gmail. I wonder if it'll open up at the actual email. Yeah. And it's opened up to the exact email. But if I go to my inbox, and this will all be hidden. But you can see here that I have had a delivery attempt, which ran into an issue. So I don't know why it's got that wrong. So... But hey, it was working well so far. Anyway, let's come back over here. He's still making this 10k loop. Still better him than me doing it. So now I can do something like this. Let's go. So I need some new trainers. So let me say, I need new Nikes. What's trending these days? And away he goes. Searches in late. 95s, that's what I was thinking of both. Cool. So let me see. Um, Ninety-fives would be cool. Are there any shops in Carlisle? I could go get some this weekend. Just for example. So let me see how it's going to think this one through. It's going to look for the stores in Carlisle. Oh, he's done over here. There we go, Futsal and JD, Sports Direct, blah, blah, blah. Show me some 95s. Because it didn't show me, and it just told me some. So it's not showing me pictures in the thing. Can I see, like, open all those up? Just tabs up. 
because that would be cool. Oh, hey. That's cool. That is cool. Because normally I have to click open all of these daft tabs. Although, how do I stop it? Ah! Stop. How do I stop? There we go. Yeah, go on. Size 9. What's the cheapest? And I'm just like natural language. And this is this is amazing. So back to here. Let me see. see. Oh, it won't work. Boo. You just have a subscription. Cool. Come out then. <laughs> come out. That means come out in Scottish. Um, but yeah, it's opened all these. That's cool. I can still right click and close tabs to the right. That's very nice. Um, here, blah, blah, blah. It's got some here. If I can just click one. Let's see. Boom. It's opened up. Yeah, I mean, I'm actually really impressed so far with this, to be fair. Whilst it's doing that, if I open up a new one, let's think of some, some other stuff. So try Assistant. So, browser. What was, the, what was the last video I watched about? Let's click on that one. Because that's part of the experience of Comet as well. It's supposed to be that it actually knows all the stuff you're searching, which feels a bit dodgy. But it's supposed to then make a better browser experience because then it will start to learn your preferences, supposedly, and things you've been talking about. So if I was talking about something last week, this week when I'm searching stuff, it will have that context. Um, so what's it saying here? I was, it was about night trends by recommendations. That isn't the last video I watched. That was the last search that I had. So let me see what about on YouTube. Now actually, let's open up YouTube and we'll see how it looks on YouTube. So my 10K thing, that's still going on. Better than me having to do it though. Last video I watched on YouTube was Perplexity Comet New Year. It was insane. Which I did, I watched it just for five to see what it looked like. Yeah, and then I watched all of these here. That's pretty cool actually. I can do that. So let me just open one of these up. We'll go to this here, which is it's playing it automatically in here. Actually, really, oops, let me play it low. Actually, really impressed because normally YouTube embedding doesn't work. But let me open up this. I want to see what it looks like. Boom, close it down. Hey, that's so slick. Um, here we can. Go to the, up here to the top right. Now, what is this we have? Summarize the current web page. Got it. <laughs> that is cool. What's this one? Voice. Yes, but we can't do that right now. And this just generally, both of these are the assistant. Interesting. So, for example, that's a good one here because then when I first heard of, I think it's Brogale, as um, a Brogale, I was. All the Irish or the Scottish. So let's say, ah, oh, this band Irish or Scottish. And then now I could like watch my little video, listen to the tunes, whilst also learning about who they are. For example, that's just, you know, and that's true. So yeah, I'm uh, impressed with that, man. Honestly, I'm really impressed with this comment platform. I just want to see if I can get this daft thing to work. As soon as this works, I'll be happy. But let's have a quick look at the other stuff up the top here. So, these three dots. Add a space, remove an expiration. Export as a PDF, mark down on DocX. That's cool. We can bookmark this. We can share it with someone else to see this search um, history here. And then we have other stuff on the side. Let's open a fresh one. So, let me just close all these tabs. Let's open a fresh browser from here. Now, on the left, what do we have? So we have our spaces, so we can have a different space for different stuff. That's cool. Finance, travel, academic, news, that's cool. Discover, for you, oh, that'll be cool. So these are for me, because it doesn't know anything about me, apparently. Because none of that is for me. Hey, very cool, man. Um, spaces, and then that's me. And then spaces here. Oh, we have browsing templates, website scanner, 
Trip Planner Pro, that's cool. Brainstorm Buzzy, Quiz Me Anything. This is amazing. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to use this. This might be my new default browser. And it's funny because I think maybe because of all the data, or, you know, let me just ask it here actually. So, I heard you want to buy Chrome. How much for and why? So, it explores the current page. Ah, perplexed, yeah, I mean. Let's see what it's saying. I can't believe how, ma how many sources it can get in, in a one. So, Perplexed says it's offered $34.5 billion. It's a long shot, but Google hasn't said it's selling. Yeah, Perplexed is worth like $8.5 billion. Crazy, man. Anyway, so, why do they say they want it? Antitrust timing. Google illegally monopolized search. Right, so we're going to try and get that. Keep Chromium open source and invest $3 billion into it. Strategic upside, billions of users because they're charge. Yeah, that, I mean, that's obviously got to be the main thing is that if they then get Chrome, they could just turn Chrome into, into this. Um, but yeah, let's click on upgrade. I just want to quickly see how much is it. So we have Pro and Max. So what is the free one? So Pro gives me 10 times as many citations. Plus the labs, limited files, extended search, blah, blah, blah. Get these models as well, which is cool. Um, and then this is everything plus unlimited access and extra models, video generation. That's crazy. I think is this not just for, for um, what do you call it? Perplexity generally. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'm on the free one though. No. Um. I don't know. I'm confused. Oops. Didn't mean that. Is call it. Or are you free to use? Yeah. Interesting. That's cool. So anyway, 10K is it done? Done. Boom. Let's see it in action. One come up. So what's it made here? One starting here. I don't even know what I'm looking at here. Let me have a look on this. Sport running. I've done the wrong one here. Running. Make it a round trip. And what's it saying? 6.7 miles. I think that is 10k in it. Can I do something that would kill you if I could search that? I could just have the assistant open, I suppose. That's 6.7 is this 10k round trip? Because this is a bit of a nightmare to try and read. So if this can reply, that'd be cool. Yeah, 10.8k. That's not bad, that would do. But hey, I'm pretty impressed. Yeah, it tells me there as well. And I can move it into Strava, etc. I am impressed. Um, well done, Perplexity. I'll probably be using this going forward. Let me know what you think. If you've downloaded it and tried it, what do you think about it? Mainly, what do you think as well about the privacy stuff going forward? Seems a bit dodgy, maybe. But I mean, Chrome probably has all my data as well. So, fair enough. If you liked the video, like the video. Comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. If you liked the video, like the video. Comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Slancher.